here at the Oval Office, not the Oval Office in Washington, D.C., but one of the new exhibits at the Magic House in Kirkwood. The Magic House expanded from holding roughly 600 people to 2,000 people. The expansion was completed just a year ago in December. With the expansion, the house now offers a total of 50,000 square feet and hundreds of exhibits. With already limited parking, how has the Magic House parking lot been affected? I spoke to the Magic House Vice President of External Relations, Mary Price. Sure, we added an additional 100 spots to the parking lot. Um, and we also formalized our agreement with NIFER and with Concordia that allows us all to work collaboratively um, and use each other's parking lots during busiest times. We have no problems with parking because anytime we are excessively busy, we have so much overflow available to us. This first watch restaurant I'm standing in front of is Caddy Corner from the Magic House. Oftentimes on the weekends, people that can't find spots in the Magic House parking lot drive over to this parking lot and park here. Rob Roddy, the general manager for First Watch, gives his feelings on the Magic House customers parking here. Uh, mainly on the weekends, holidays, summer's really tough. Uh, they literally park here, walk across the street. Once in a while the staff does also. Um, and it's really hard on the customers, especially the older people trying to walk. And, but it's just frustrating. Only one official complaint regarding parking issues with the Magic House has been filed with the Kirkwood Police Department since the expansion in 2008. I'm Liz Mueller for the Weekly Report.